Hi everyone, this is Deborah Layton at Cali College and I am your instructor for interpersonal communications this semester. I'd like to show you just a few navigation features for our class to get you started. Hopefully you have already taken Blackboard e-orientation if this is your first I on, uh, online class and so uh, you can kind of know what's going on from there, but just to hit a few highlights. Be sure to read the announcements every week. It'll give you specific instructions about where to go and what to do next. The first thing on our list, of course, is to read the syllabus. So when you click on that, it'll open in a new screen and it'll give you important information about how and where to find me, the book that you need, the layout of the class, uh, expectations, the different types of assignments, and that kind of thing. Uh, if you have any questions about this, then please don't hesitate to ask. As you can see, we go on four different units over our 12-week period. Then you go to the Start Here link from the course menu. There's essential information here for you about uh, the course itself, the textbook materials that you need, and some other basics. So please read through that thoroughly in order to um, get a basic layout for the class. Sometimes people ask, why do we have to have assessments in a communications course? Isn't it about talking to people? Well, yes it is, but since this is an online environment, of course, we need to be stretched outside of our comfort zones and get outside of our computers and do a few things. And that'll count for some of your assignments, but then of course we have to um, do some paperwork in between. So make sure you read that carefully, okay? If you don't have Microsoft Word, there's a free download link there for you as well. If we go back to the Start Here link then, you'll notice that you have an introductory discussion forum that is due by Friday. There is a sample here of a video that I made to show you what you could do for that assignment. How you can tell what is something that you read or something that is due online is that I always have my due dates highlighted in yellow if it's something that is due online. So be watching for those at the beginning of every week. And then, of course, if you have any questions about the course, then um, these are general questions that could be for your classmates or for me. So this will stay open throughout the semester. I suggest that you subscribe to this so that you will get notifications if anything is posted there. Okay, so that's one of your first assignments. Then if you go back to the announcement screen, then it does tell you to go right to course content. I tell students this is where we live because this is the kind of stuff that you're going to be going into every week for your assignments, all right? So as you can see, our first unit goes until March 1st, so it'll take the rest of this month. And I list all of the objectives with a little bit of instruction as to how to navigate um, course content here. At the beginning of every week, you will see a new content page inside of Unit 1. Once we get to Unit 2, then you'll see another folder pop up here in course content. So let's click on Unit 1 and see what we've got going on here. This is what I call a page, all right? So the pages that are posted at the beginning of each week will give you the instructions for the week in just a basic form. For example, it tells you to read the Start Here link, complete the syllabus quiz by Wednesday, etc. So um, that will uh, give you some kind of basic information on the layout of the week. It gives you textbook instructions how um, I'm going to be navigating through the book. I do jump around in chapters uh, because I feel like certain chapters work together better as a unit than others. So make sure you follow what this is telling you to do instead of just going straight through the book. And then as again you scroll down you'll see attachments or supplements to this content. One of the first things of course is the course syllabus quiz. So after you read the syllabus over here, and I suggest that maybe you print that off so that if you're ever having problems with Blackboard, my email is posted there so you can just email me with any um, problems that you're having. Um, there is a little video here on transactional communication that will supplement the content of the chapter this week. And then one way to review for a quiz or for a unit test is to go in and look at the chapter PowerPoints. That'll hit the highlights for you over again to refresh your memory, or you can certainly read through that before you start the book. Repetition is a part of learning, so I think that that's a great way to be prepared for content that you'll need to know. 
often you have a chapter one quiz due by the end of the week. My weeks go from Monday to Sunday. And then uh, this supplement, Who Do You Think You Are? You need to click on that and follow the instructions there. And then you have a journal post due by the end of the week as well. Now, this journal is um, a, a private journal. If I have something that I want you guys to read each other's posts and respond to, that'll appear in a discussion forum. But things that are private, that only I will be able to see, will happen in journal form. It looks like a little book here, like a little journal, okay? Now, I know this seems like a lot for the first week, but remember that this is a condensed class of only 12 weeks. So you guys are going to be doing the same things, getting the same content, covering the same objectives that a regular 16 week course would in order to get your credit hour definition and get that um, credit hour count and grade count on your transcripts by the end of the semester. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, I will add some other information to these videos sometimes I won't post one of these every week uh, because I think as we get going into the class some things will be kind of self-explanatory but when I do post a video please do watch it because I'll give you some feedback um, about maybe some assignments that can help you in the future all right. Now, one of the things I did want to point out before I go today is that um, you do have a proctored final in this class and you can read in your syllabus about that and read more um, in the institutional resources link about um, test proctoring with um, proctor U services. Uh, so if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask on that. Uh, welcome to Cowley Online. Welcome to Interpersonal Communications. I hope you have a wonderful week and don't hesitate to contact me if I can do anything for you. Bye.